Hi everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a abstract um, design with very little paint um, on a canvas. Now, I recommend if you have an easel to do this on an easel because then you get the cool like drop effect. This is what I'm going to show you how to do, but every time I do this type of technique, it is different. So, today I'm going to use only two colors and they are going to be blue and yellow. And we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> so, this is my second attempt at making this video. The first time it was too long. So, we're making this. And what I'm going to do with this later on is I'm going to draw a quote on top of it. And then later I will seal it, but that will be off camera. So what you need, an easel. Um, I have these little um, paper towels um, on the easel because you will be using a spray bottle. Now this just has water in it. I found it at Dollarama, so very inexpensive. You will need paint as well. You'll need a canvas. I'm going to start with a new one. You will need a paintbrush. It does not have to be high-end. I actually recommend that you don't use your high-end expensive brushes for this. Maybe you use one like I am that came free in a kit. Um, this one is one of those ones that came free in a kit. I'm also reusing this and turned it into a paint palette. It did have like a bunch of art supplies in it that I got for my birthday. So I'm reusing this and making it into a paint palette. <laughs> you will also need a towel because of the spray, the water, and everything. It doesn't only just get on the canvas, sometimes it goes other places. So uh, to catch the water, because I'm working on a carpeted ground, I'm going to use a towel. This one is one of the towels that doesn't really work that well. Um, it's a cool towel, it's a donut design, but it doesn't work as a towel. So, I'm gonna place that down, be back in a minute. All right, I'm not gonna, gonna show you the box that my paint is in because it's pretty large. Um, so, I'm also just gonna use a um, paint, uh, paint tubes that uh, were in a kit that I found at the Dollarama so that I can show you that you don't have to pay a fortune to get this cool design. So now I'm going to unwrap my canvas here. You might notice that my hair is a lighter shade than the last video, and that's because I filmed the previous videos when it was like, it's September, and every I filmed them in September, and um, so that was when my hair was like, right, just like, dyed, you know, and so it's now November 14th, uh, 1037. <laughs> PM. So, now we've got our canvas. I'm going to change the camera angle here. All right. Here it is. So I'm going to get my paint ready and then uh, I'll be back in the next few minutes. I don't know if I said this before, but I'm going to be using blue and yellow. Uh, I don't think I've ever done that combination, so I'm going to try it out. So, because yellow is so bright and not that pigmented, this paint isn't as pigmented, I'm going to use it first, um, and then I'll use the blue afterwards to fill in the spaces. So. <laughs> so, that's the amount of paint I have right there. That paint dollop. Um, I'll show you that it does go a long way. However, now you get to find out why I have a spray bottle with water in it. 
This really helps because a little paint won't go a long way, but if you water it down, it can. So I want to spray my canvas. That's why I have a towel underneath here. Okay, I think it's wet enough. I am now going to get my paint here. And um, this tends to sound a little bit like a thunder sound effect um, when you're in person. I don't know how it's going to sound in the video, though. You can't really see it because it's yellow. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, you just tap the canvas constantly like this. And then the paint drips down because of the water behind it. Alright, I need more paint already. Whoops, there's something on my... I'm filming on my laptop. Close. Alright. There was just a notification there. I exited it out a bit, so... Anyway. I forgot to put my cloth on my keyboard, which I usually do. Um, just to be safe that I don't get anything in between the keyboard, uh, thing. The keyboard, I don't know what the spaces in between the keyboard are called, but I'm no tech genius. <laughs> so, anyway. But I forgot to put my cloth on top of there. But it looks like it didn't get anything, any water, so I'm good. Yes? Hold on. Hold on. I, I apologize. Someone just told me that this is a little too loud. Um, so I'm going to quickly do the blue. Um, and throughout the piece, if you want to, you can add more water to it and watch the color fall. Um, I think I'm going to do blue off camera just in case I get um, someone mad at me again. I <laughs> so, anyway, I'll be back when the blue is done. You do the same thing with the blue and, uh, you know, just repeat it until you're happy. Um, so I'll get back to you when I finish the blue. Okay, I'll sh show you a little bit of the blue, because you can see that a little bit better than the yellow. But all I'm doing is tapping the canvas here. have to be right-handed or left-handed to do this, you can use your less dominant hand, which is sweet, um, if you get tired, because you'll get the same effect, all you're doing is tapping the canvas here. I do not know if I thought of this myself, or I saw it on a video, I can't remember, honestly, I've seen a lot of art pack videos, so I don't even know if this was my own idea, or this was something I saw online, so... And this is just an abstract design that I will end up putting a quote on later when it dries. Which I will show you with the one that's actually dry. Get a little bit more of the paint since I have a little bit more left here. do this quicker. Once I get to a certain point, I can just spray the canvas and want, let gravity do its thing. So just like that, 
I've covered pretty much my entire canvas and I've used two drops of paint. And a couple of sprays of water. So this really works if you want to do something quick or something that you want to do with your kids because this is very kid friendly. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's quick. So if you want to do something that's just not going to take 5,000 hours, you can use this ha hack. Um, or like I to often do with this hack, um, is someone's birthday is coming up in three days and I need to make something for them. So I do this, get it dry, put the, uh, I do the background, let it dry, then I do the quote on top. Let the paint from the quote dry, then I seal it, let the sealer dry, and then I wrap it. So it doesn't take too long. Like if I'm, you know, if I have some little bit of time, you know, maybe a week or a week to work on someone's gift, this might be what I do. Because it's easy, it doesn't take too long, an hour or two maybe at most, depending on what you think looks best. It's really a judgment call whether or not you finish it now or finish it later. Um, but I'm going to add some water to the canvas. All right. Oops. Keep knocking things over. So add some water to my canvas. Now, before it all sinks, turn it around, and then let gravity do its thing, um, and I'll wait for it to dry. It'll probably dry about tom maybe tomorrow or something. Um, now, for this guy here, I'm going to go find a quote that I want to put on it, and I'll be back in a few. All right, so I picked a quote from Pinterest. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, you can't see that. <laughs> Whatever. But it says, it always seems impossible until it's done. I don't know if this is backwards to you. When I'm filming this, it's backwards. <laughs> anyway, um, it's always it always seems impossible until it's done. And I signed it. I'm not going to bother showing you me sealing it because that would be boring. Um, but anyway, that is the video. That's what I do when I make these kinds of art pieces is I'll find a quote. I'll do that kind of cool design background on it. And I will, um, apply the, um, quote on top of it pretty much I'll do that background apply the quote on top of it seal it wrap it and finish it I still have to edge that but you don't need to see that that's just me drawing a black line on the edge of the canvas oh, I forgot that was still wet <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed this make sure to comment like subscribe and always remember to stay happy